All right, so let's look at this problem. This is a num uh, number theory problem. I think the sum of squares of prime inverses. So in other words, uh, this is what we want to compute. So 1 over p squared uh, p going over all primes so if you sum it up how much is it I don't know uh, enough whether there is an uh, exact uh, answer to this but I'm I want to talk about so if I since I don't know the exact answer I'm not even sure the exact answer uh, is known I want to talk about some the, the best we can get in terms of uh, the, a bound and uh, this is uh, due to Ramanujan, at least the technique I'm going to talk about. First of all, we know that this is, uh, uh, this, is this is a convergent series because if I take, uh, this is a well-known uh, result. If I take this 1 over k squared over all integers, this is uh, summable and it is pi squared over 6. And if you want to know how this is true, a couple of ways we can do this. We can uh, find this uh, easiest thing is to use the Fourier series expansion since as in electrical engineers of uh, this function and the from uh, from here the coefficient this is a symmetric function so if you expand this as a this this can be Fourier expanded as an even series and the terms will turn out to be 1 over k squared and from there you can uh, get this result. Of course this is a subsequence of this. So if this uh, all the integer square inverses converges, consequently this converge, uh, this series converges, the question is how much is it? So if you also want to see converges, you can see it from elementary methods. If you draw 1 over x squared curve, and uh, if you take these partitions uh, one two three all right so here i'm going to look at these areas rectangular areas and here i'm going to look at uh, these areas so you can see in one case uh, where I have shaded is less than the area below, greater than the area below the curve. And in this case the shaded area is uh, less than the area below the curve. So if you look at this, I take this rectangle, this is, the height is 1, so 1 squared and this is 1. So so you can see that this is 1 over k squared because if this is a k uh, then this is 1 over k squared that rectangle so k equal to 1 through infinity this area is larger than the integral from here this point all the way to infinity 1 to infinity 1 over x squared dx which is minus 1 over x 1 to infinity so that answer is 1 but then this area is larger than the area under these rectangles but this rectangle area is 1 over 2 the whole squared this is 1 over 3 the whole squared etc so that's going to be 1 over k squared but k from 2 through infinity so you can see this series uh, is uh, if you come from 1 over k squared k equal to uh, 2 through infinity is of course you get this uh, slappy bound that's strictly less than 1 and of course all the primes being a subsequence from here on we know that this sequence converges so the question is how much is it All right, so let me show, uh, show a method due to Ramanujan 
so he starts with these identities this is a clever observation So if you expand uh, the first uh, first term, you will get 1 plus a2, a2 squared, a2 uh, cubed, etc. And uh, if you take the next term, you will have uh, so you will that multiplied by 1 plus a3 plus a3 squared which I am going to write it like this etc and if you take the next one again that is going to get multiplied by 1 plus a5 etc so then if you start expanding you will begin to see terms like this and uh, next term and uh, so you can clearly see that all the next if you here of course this is the first prime uh, so the index being the primes a2 a3 a5 a7 etc so if you expand you can see here if you uh, so you have 1 2 3 this is 2 2 4 5 6 etc so all the natural numbers can be duplicated so this is an identity for any a so the next step is to replace uh, a2 by let's say 1 over 2 to the power n a3 by 1 over 3 to the power n etc so a p by 1 over p to the power n then we we get this euler's identity so then we get uh, product 1 over 1 minus 1 over p to the power n this p over all primes and this is just writing on the left side on the right side you get uh, 1 plus uh, so this will be a2 is uh, 2 to the power n this is 1 over 3 to the power n etc so it's going to be and this is going to be 2 to the power n twice so that's going to be 4 to the power etc so basically this is going to be i can just summarize it as 1 over k to the power n uh, k from 1 to infinity so we get this basic identity so in particular so in particular we get uh, uh, 1 over 1 minus uh, p squared is a summation 1 over k squared k equal to 1 through infinity and this I am going to call using the standard notation s2 value of s2 is not pi squared over 6 and similarly so this is over all primes and uh, 1 over 1 minus p to the power 4 again p over all primes will be a result like this 1 over k to the power 4 k equal to 1 through infinity and this is s4 and that value is pi 4 over 98 again these are well tabulated and uh, If you, uh, these results will follow from Bernoulli numbers many as I said this you can derive it from the Fourier series or of the triangular function.
so these are standard results so so i have s2 equal to 1 plus 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 3 squared plus 1 over 4 squared plus etc so from here if you take 1 over s2 this is ramanujan's method so 1 over s2 would be inverse of this so you get product of 1 minus p squared over all primes so if this if you expand this is like 1 minus uh, 2 squared multiplied by 1 minus 3 squared uh, etc so if you expand this you get 1 minus uh, 2 squared minus 3 squared then uh, 2 multiplied by 3 but with a plus sign so you have 2 3 the whole squared then 1 minus 7 squared because the next term here here this would be 2 3 5 7 etc only over the prime so you're only going to get there is no infinite series you are simply multiplying these terms so this is 1 minus 7 squared uh, plus uh, uh, so notice that this is uh, depending on so two primes three primes etc so the next will be two multiplied by three gives you next is uh, two multiplied by five so that will be with a plus sign so that will be two five squared etc so we have one identity i'm going to call this one and we can also from these two uh, the clever observation is you can also find this uh, product but with a plus sign here so what you need to do is we are going to take uh, one over s4 so one over s4 is going to be product of one minus one minus p4 and 1 over s2 is already here so you can see that this can be written as product of 1 minus p squared multiplied by 1 plus p squared over all primes so but this term is of course this term So we have uh, dividing this sequence by this sequence. In other words, so, so the, we have S2 over S4 would turn out to be the product over all primes. Because you can also write this as this multiplied by, and this is S2. This is 1 over S2. So, S2, so it will be 1 plus 1 over P squared. And if you expand this, we get exactly this series except with the plus sign. So you get 1 plus 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 3 squared plus 1 over 2, 5, the whole squared plus etc. Uh, plus, let me write a few more terms. Minus 1 over, so this will be plus 1 over 7 squared plus 1 over 2 5 the whole squared etc so you can notice whenever you have two primes here this will be plus whenever you have four primes it will be plus whenever you have one or three or odd number of primes it is minus here here of course all the terms are negative so naturally what he has done is he has subtracted this series this series from this series so that only the odd terms remain so this is uh, i'm going to call this two So if you do 2 minus 1, you get, uh, you keep all the 2 minus 1. So you keep all the, all the terms with an odd number of primes in the denominator. So you get 1 over, uh, so I'm going to write it here. So it's sequence uh, uh, 
2 minus 1 will give us 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 3 squared this minus this so notice that 1 will cancel uh, this term will get doubled this term will get doubled this term will cancel because it's the same sign so we are going to retain and there is also of course uh, 1 over 5 squared well, here of course there is minus 1 over 5 squared all the primes are here so the, because the next term here is 1 minus 5 squared etc so there is also 1 over 5 squared so this will be 1 over 5 squared plus 1 over 7 squared Uh, plus 1 over 11 squared plus 1 over 30 so all these are primes he is able to extract this sequence but what you see in the denominator is uh, odd number of primes so so far it's only one prime plus 1 over 19 squared uh, plus 1 over 21 is 7 multiplied by 3 so that will be gone so we pick up 23 22 is gone because 11 and 2 2 primes even number of primes then this is uh, after that you get uh, 29 so all these are prime but the next term will turn out to be uh, this you will retake because this is three primes right two three five 30 squared so he is not able to get exactly that result but he is get, uh, able to get a looser bound but this you can sum because this is going to be half of s2 over s4 minus 1 over s2 this sequence minus uh, this sequence which was 1 over s2 so this is 1 over s2 and the, so this we can compute because also this is going to be s2 squared minus s4 over 2s2 s4 so this is ramanujan's result so as far as I, I couldn't find anything which is tighter than this there could be i'm not that knowledgeable uh, so the interesting idea is i think that series that uh, that uh, answer is still an open question so here you have a sloppier series uh, but this sequence can be exactly computed so if i if i uh, put the values pi squared over uh, 6 squared minus uh, pi 4 over 90 and 2 uh, pi squared over 6 multiplied by pi 4 over 90 and if you simplify all this this will turn out to be uh, 9 divided by uh, 2 pi squared which is about uh, 0.45594 etc so of course that all you can say is that the result we are looking for <laughs> so we don't know the exact answer but this is uh, because that se sequence has got all the uh, terms with odd number of primes so this result is less than uh, this uh, ramanujan number uh, and 9 over 2 pi squared which is 0 0.45594 etc Of course, uh, as we know, if you, one over prime, just the inverse of primes are uh, blows up. You know that's not summable. So the next bet, best result is uh, that the square of the primes, inverse of the primes, are uh, is uh, it's a convergent sequence, and the exact value I think is unknown, uh, but uh, this is a close bound.